Hey Nigel, you've only got one day's MOT left. That's a fact. It's also irrelevant because today I need to crack on with this, get that finished off. <laughs> Hello. Look, I've taken out the rear lamps. Actually, they're called clusters, but I've taken them out. And I'm quite surprised actually because a while back I had loads of those, and then yesterday I realised I only have one for the driver's side. So that's not enough, is it? Dash out as well. Surprisingly lightweight in the Mark II ZR and Streetwise and 25. There's nothing to it. I mean, really. And it's held on by, I think, only four, no, five M8 bolts, which isn't a lot. Actually, that's wrong. It was five M8 bolts and a cable tie. So then we have the dashboard exposed for any other bits that need to come out. And what isn't coming out of this car is the carpet. Because although it could be cleaned, that's just, I mean, it's horrible. Or the seats. The seats are definitely not good enough. Or the headlining. Or that wing. But you know all that anyway. Unless you've not been following my videos. And if you haven't, then you didn't know that. Either way, I haven't wasted too much time there. Here is the start of my dilemma. Most of the car is off, you know, very little left now, but there are a few salvageable parts, such as that mirror, the uh, wiring loom in the door, same with that one, and the latches, and the possibly the window regulator. The obvious point being if it's working, but the bonnet and the doors and the tailgate can be just a bit too much to store. Unless they're in absolutely perfect condition which they're not. What about this rear bumper? It's not in perfect condition, but if I leave it on, somebody will end up saying, oh, I've had that. Oh, I wanted that. Oh, maybe not in that voice though. Even the fuel filler flap, there's not the kind of thing that ever really breaks off very easily. And obviously I have a freezer full of those as well anyway. Yeah. Well, I was just about to start the task of loading the car onto the back of the truck, dragging it forward and all that kind of thing which I will do. The last car I did this with, uh, I made the mistake of not filling it up with the junk uh, before I got it on the truck. And then some of that junk is too heavy to pick up. So. To get snot face on the back of transit face, I'm going to have to pull it quite a long way because I can't get transit face down there. And I do need to pull it on backwards. I can't pull it forwards onto the back of the truck for some reasonably obvious reasons. Typical, the truck wants to move again. Marvellous. Now, here's the tricky bit. It's the tricky bit, but also the bit I like the most. Getting that up there. And as you can see, it's not really lined up. And it can't be because I can't get, uh, I could possibly go down a bit further. Perhaps I should actually. Yeah, that's actually a bit better. Still going to be a bit awkward. And the thing is, because the truck's down at that end, I've got one chance to get it right. If it ends up at the wrong angle, I can't exactly just wheel it back off and I can't drive the truck anywhere. So, it's a bit tricky. <laughs> oh shit. 
that's a lot of earth to dig up. Continue. <laughs> It's not right that, maybe you could say, it doesn't matter too much if it's not at quite the right angle, but it just bugs me, I just don't like it. So I'm going to try again with a big bar. That's not the end of it either though, unfortunately, because I was trying to push it over to straighten it up, and I had the handbrake off. When I was doing it, it was rolling. And it's rolled all the way to the winch. That might not sound like such a big deal, but I've got to get the wheels off yet. And there's nowhere for the back end of the car to go once I do that. In order to rectify this, I've got to do something a little bit uh, reckless. And that is to undo the handbrake, just kind of yank the truck forward a bit to try and make the thing shift and uh, hope it doesn't come off. It shouldn't do. It probably won't. That's more like it. Now, maybe I'm being a little bit pedantic here, but the gap on this side of the bed is significantly wider than this side. And I'm not happy with that. Big bar again. No. At the moment, that's enough. I have something also quite important to go off and do now. Yeah, a bike ride through a tunnel at all around Kingsway Business Park. That's pretty important stuff. Last week I decided I was going to go out every single day just for half an hour and then I've accidentally skipped a week which is a shame because I felt great. I almost wished that I smoked so I could give up smoking and feel like I'm doing something positive. But I haven't got anything else to do besides pasties. I'm not giving beer up. Oh and I stopped here because uh, I almost run a squirrel over. I could see it side of the pavement there. It looked up and saw me and thought I'm going to go across there. That's why they get run over so often. They're just stupid. Look at this. These things are a bit of a pain really because I've got to get off my bike to go around it. They're basically here to stop people on motorbikes from riding up the paths. But look again. Yeah. I reckon they could get around that somehow. Yes. All exercise done by me is in a vain hope to get a bit more fit. It's not because I like it. Right, that might be it for today. Just been in the toilet recording some car videos, but I've got to go home a bit early.